Lunchtime update, day two of the Epay Silver Fern Rally. We're here in a Potiki for lunch, about to go and hit Motu for the first time in a little while. 44 kilometres, and there's something just a little bit more special about the Motu this year. Sadly, Paddy Davison uh, died recently in Australia, uh, was a, a New Zealand rallying icon, very, very well known for the Nissan brand. This is his place, Apodiki, so uh, our thoughts and wishes go out to the Davidson family. But all of the class winners are up for this trophy. David Steele, uh, local owner of the Caltex here in Apodiki, has put uh, three of these up for each of the three classes for the fastest stage times through the Mo2. Now, update after the first stages this morning, heading into Mo2. Jeff Judd is the current rally leader, defending champion from two years ago. He has a nine second lead over Shane Merland and Neil Orput who are tied for second and uh, they are, as I said, nine seconds out of the lead. Vince Bristow is 11 seconds out of the lead with Dean Buist. He is fifth overall. The top five covered by just 15 seconds. Dave Strong continues to lead the challenge class by just six seconds over Brian Stokes now who is second and with Brent Taylor back in third. He is just 19 seconds out of that challenge rally lead. Well that's it from Apodiki. We're going to head south to Gisborne later on this afternoon Keep an eye on the website for more update, updates and keep an eye out for Silver. He's going to pop up pretty shortly for our third giveaway thanks to ePay and their prepaid $100 Visa card.